Mm, the first time I made um, this design of stool, I used scraps of plywood um, glued together with, with some scraps of, of walnut glued in between, kind of sandwiched in between. I've, I've uploaded the video of it. It's, it's on my channel. Um, but then after I, after I had made that, I was I was quite happy with the with the design, and I, I thought, what um, what would it be like making um, making this design out of other kind of woods? Um, so I, so I made one out of ash, and I made one out of walnut, and and this is the the video material from from me making that out, out of walnut. Um, the re the reason I, I I I made it out of walnut was really just because I had I had a plank of walnut uh, in the shop and and I was keen on using it. Um, but I have to say, um, as always, um, working working with walnut it's a it's a um, unusually um, satisfying wood to to work with. It's um, it's easy to work with. It's uh, it's classified as a hi hardwood, obviously, but it um, as hardwoods go, it's it's not very hard. It's it's actually rather soft, um, which obviously makes it e e easy to work with, and uh, you know it, it cuts easily, it planes easily, it, it sounds it sands really easily, um, and above all, um, um, once it's been sanded down really really nicely and then and then when it gets to when it gets oiled i oil it with linseed oil um the color the, you know the natural color of the wood it has this deep um natural um dark brown color which is which is just like nothing else really it's 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 really beautiful and um so that makes that, that that makes it um that makes it a lot of fun um, working with walnut. If if you if you have ever have the opportunity, um, you know, do, doing woodwork, if you can get it, get your hands on a piece of walnut, um, go for it. You 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 know, it's it's high hi to be highly recommended. Now, um, the the design of this. Um, the design of this tool, I've, I've, I've changed it slightly um, um, from the original design to the original design. Ba basically, the main difference is, is the, the, um, the cross beams between the legs. Um, in, the in the original design, they were, they were made of wood. Um, and in this design, I, um, I, I, th I thought, you know, wouldn't it be interesting if I if I made them with metal? If I made them with brass, in in the case of walnut, um, you know, bra brass complements walnut quite nicely, I, I find. And um, um, the the main objective of this design change was really just um, to 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 make the design easier e easier to make, really, because. Th th the wooden design is quite nice, um, but it's it's qu it's also quite difficult to to, to do. You know, um, the joinery is just quite um, uh, challenging, <laughs> challenging. So so that was the that was the main reason for this. I I have to say, like the on this original design, I'll probably next time around I'll probably uh, use just. Uh, that, so, so the brass I'm using here is five millimeters thick. I'll, I'll probably go up to six, or maybe even eight, um, just to just to get it a little bit stiffer. Um, otherwise, it's it's good. I um, I quite like the combination. Um, um, you know, brass with brass with walnut. Here, here I'm drilling the. Um, Kind of countersinking about a third of the way through the through the legs, um, just drilling into the wood, and then the next step I use so 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 the drill I'm using here is a six mil. Then I then I change to a I don't know like a two mil um, um, drill bit, and I'm drilling right through the brass. Um, um, 
just, just drilling just through the brass and, and no further in, yeah, um, with, a thin, with a narrow hole. So um, the very next st step, I'm, I'm then also um, screwing through the brass into the, into the second half of the leg, um, just to hold the brass in place, you know. And the screw, obviously the screw, has, it's, a, it's, a, it's quite a thin screw. Um, it disappears in this hole and then the and then the very last step is I, I fill the hole with this brass dowel yeah so so it's kind of like the the, the joinery is almost um, uh, reminiscent of of these like a a square for um, the you know the, the way some some squares are made where the where the where you have this, um, you know, the, the, the square has a wooden handle and then, a, and then um, it's, uh, it's got these kind of sanded off brass uh, um, dowels. Yeah, that's, that, that's kind of what I, was, what I was thinking of when I designed this joint. Um, brass is another, th an, 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 another material I really like. It's, it's, um, you can you can cut it with just a normal table saw if you want to. It's it's um, I I find machining brass actually um, easier than aluminium. Um, yeah, and and also it, it looks it looks just great with the it it, it goes well with walnut I think. So this is the last step. I'm uh, um, basically, uh, yeah, just just trimming off the um, trimming off the brass. Uh, then after that, I I sand it down flush with the flush with the walnut, um, and then it just gets a couple of drops of oil um, um, to on on the on the area which is which is sanded. And then that's it, finished.